All right, let's slow it down for this next dam. All you seniors out there, hold your partners just a little bit closer. Teacher's coming up. Look. Wanna get out of here? Let's do it. This dance. You may. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Some Grant. Do you know how thin the ice is you're on right now? Excuse me? Allison, your skating class isn't bringing in enough revenue. Now, you need to bring in more students, or I'm gonna have to cancel your class and use that time for an open skate instead. So, I'll try to get more students. You see these bleachers, Allison? They're empty. You're not a champion anymore. I'm sorry. Do you feel that? That's crepitus. It's like sandpaper. Listen, I don't know how you're walking, much less playing professional hockey. Lauren, let, let's try the knee immobilizer or the brace and see which one is most comfortable for him, okay? Okay. So when everyone comes in, we're going to serve them some warm soup, and then I figure we'll take them over to the church where we have a warming center set up, and they can all stay there for the night. All right. I like that idea. Yeah. That'll work. Nice and warm. Thank you so much. There you are. So much. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Thank you for helping our community. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming here. Merry Christmas. God bless you. I got some tomato soup for you. Original recipe. Merry Christmas, my friend. Two days ago. I haven't had a hot meal in a long time. It's been nearly a week since I've had a meal. God bless you. And this is the first that I've been able to mm. digest. You, you know, need to pray. 
pray. Lord, I just thank you so Jesus, much for this thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Excuse me, but I'm really hungry. So, not gonna lie, my tomato soup was a hit tonight. It was. Everyone really seemed to enjoy it. You know, I was just thinking, I really wish Mom and Dad could have been here to see all this. They would have been so proud. I miss them so much. I do too. I think about them all the time. But I'm glad that tonight we were able to bring people together, create some happiness. I really absolutely. feel like we kept their legacy going with the diner tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I never realized I was going to co-own a diner with this pretty little one right over here. But mm -hmm. I'm very happy I got into the business. You guys are so sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I just want to say, this guy played hard, he fought hard, and he went out strong for the team. To Ivan, and to new adventures. To I, Ivan. Cheers. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. I have a cleaner to do that in the morning. I don't roll my sleeves up to anything like this. All right? I'm a professional hockey player. I make a lot of money, and I hire people to do this. So, what are you going to do next? Okay. Did we lose all the advertisement deals when I got caught from the team? Yes, we lost them all. And you can't negotiate with another advertiser. You cannot play with the bad knee. If you don't get me another deal, I'm over. I have nothing. This is all that I know. I will. Don't worry. I will take care. photo with my daughter. Absolutely. Hey, what's your name? My name is Jennifer. Jennifer, I like that name. You want to take a picture? Okay. Are your peace signs? We've had a great Christmas so far. A lot of things happened in Hope Springs since you left, but... I'd love to hear about that. Of course. I'll tell you all about it. Let's go. Glad to be back. Yeah, but with all the changes, you know, Hope Springs. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. She's lucky to get a photo oh, with you. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm the lucky one. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Let me guess, Ivan Hall. How did you know that? His sister Victoria told me he's moving to Hope Springs to be near the family. Well, does Allison know yet? I don't think so. Well, should we tell her? Uh, I mean, with everything he did, I feel like she probably deserves to know. Christopher, we've got a lot of people to make Christmas special for. Here's the list. Let's get back to work. Birdhouse, bench, wood toys. I think this is stuff I can help you make. Good old Saint Nick. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. There he was. 
packed this afternoon. Country singer Drew Williams opened the festival with his new single, The Second Time. We're looking forward to an amazing week with a fantastic lineup. It's sunny here in Nashville, but that won't slow down the Christmas spirit. Yay! Oh, hey, guys. Oh, how are you guys? Ooh, I missed you, you so much. What are you doing home like that? You had another week left in your tour. Well, I talked to my manager. We moved some things around. And... <sighs> you think I was going to spend Christmas without you guys? Yes. 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 Come here. I miss you guys. I love you so much. Hello? It's about time for your ice skating lesson. Why don't you grab the skates, okay? Yeah, Hold on one second. Um, Aunt Allie, this is for you. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Hello, this is Allison. Hey, Allison, it's Ken. Listen, I'm afraid today's the day the ice breaks. I've decided to cancel your class and use the time for open skate. You just don't have enough No, students. Ken, this is my job. These kids, they look forward to this. Please don't do this. Just give me a few more weeks. I'm sorry, Allison. I need the time for open skate. Did you see Austin's drawing? Yeah, he copied it right after you. Hey, girls. You set. ready? Yeah. All yeah. set? OK. So no point in getting ready today. Class was canceled. Um, what do you mean? What's yeah. going on? I'll tell you later. I got to call Bobby. Well, I will still do something fun today, okay? We'll yeah. figure it out. It'll be a fun holiday break. Yeah. All right, go ahead and put your skates away real quick, and we'll, uh, we'll go do something else. Put them in the closet, okay? All right. That's weird. It is really strange. She'll tell us, though. It'll be fine. Yeah. Hey, babe. Are you busy right now? Uh, yeah, sort of. I got a big deal going down today. It's kind of important. Can I come by and see you? Sure. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Ivan? This is oh, Nixon. So good to hey, see you. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. My knees are a little sore, but as they say, your joints are the first to go as you get older. Hey, my knees haven't given out. You, you look great though. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you wanna help me put up some signs for the charity event coming up? We're raising money for the soup kitchen. It's gonna be a great, great time. I love the help, yeah. and games and... Uh, I'm sorry, um... You know what? It's all right. Just give us some time. You're a good man, Ivan. Thank you. Appreciate it. This was wonderful seeing you. Good to see you, too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. You okay? You sounded upset on the phone. Not really. I had a rough morning. The jerk Ken canceled my classes today. I guess I'm not bringing in enough revenue and they're gonna use it for open skate now. I'm sorry, baby. Give me one second. Did you say your classes are going good? No! I just told you that they got canceled. I'm not bringing in enough revenue, he claims. Okay, Mark. Yeah, send me the proposal. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye. I'm sorry, babe. I mean, you'll figure something out, right? You always do. Or you can find another ice rink to work at. Or maybe it's time you... Maybe it's time you hung up the skates and found a real job. A real job? Bobby, this is a real job. One that I'm very passionate about. You know that. Babe, listen, I got this huge deal going down today. Can I... Can we please talk about this later? Thomas, my man. Tell me you sealed the deal. Oh. I love you. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Oh, hey, how did it go? Hey, well, you know, same old, same old. He was super busy, we didn't really get to talk, so. Is everything okay with you two? I'm starting to get really worried. <sighs> Excuse us. Hey. I think we're okay. I think it's just that time of year, he's super busy, and I don't know, we'll work through it. He did have an idea, though. What if I got 
the same job at just another ice rink. Hey guys, what's up, Brett? How are you, bud? Good to see you. Hey, favorite knees. How are you, girl? Okay. Sis, you are not going to believe who I saw in town today. Oh. Allison Grant. Did you talk? No, but well, she looked at me. What kind of look? Was it like a surprised look or an <clears throat> I never want to see you again type look? Well, she walked the other way as soon as she saw me. So that was an I never want to see you again type look. Like I mentioned before, the Nixon's Pond is frozen this time of year. You could teach your lessons there. Oh, I don't know. I just really don't understand why you're not buying into it. It's the perfect idea for you. It might be the perfect idea, Lauren. I just don't think it's the perfect idea for me. I mean, maybe Bobby's right. Maybe it is time for me to find a new job. Wow. Do you remember this ornament? Yeah, that was the Christmas that mom got us our very first ice skates. It seriously looks the same as it did the day she gave it to us years ago. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give the Nixons a call. Let's just see if next week they'll let you start teaching there. I don't have any students though. We can sign up at Allison. Yeah, we can ask our friends at school. Maybe we can make some flyers that we can hand out on Monday. Flyers, like a coupon book. We'll call it the Christmas Coupon. It's something special between the girls and I every once in a while for holidays. They'll make a coupon book for me that I can redeem. And I can have them do chores for me or make me breakfast. This is a great idea. Oh, girls, you do that for me? You guys are the best twin nieces ever. Would you like to come to our Aunt Allie skating lessons? Yes. You want to go skating? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. What do we have? This would be skating fun. Lessons. Oh, okay, good. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. I really want to learn how to ice skate. That's dangerous, and I don't want you to. I'll personally supervise it and make sure that it's safe. Ivan, don't get involved. Drew, tell him. I'm gonna let the siblings hash this one out. You guys got this. Do you remember how fun skating was as kids? It was a blast. You know it. Please, Mom. Okay, look. It's just a few lessons. There'll be other kids, and it'll be fun. Once you guys get to this side, you're going to turn around and skate back. Okay. One foot in front of the other. Good job. All right, everybody, good job on those glides. Keep up the good work. Hey, you know if you lean forward when you push off, you get better balance and distance. Well, I'm not teaching them how to be hockey players. I'm teaching them the art of figure skating. I'm just trying to help them get better balance. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. Well, it kind of seems like you are. Look, I actually brought my skates today, so if you want a demonstration, I'll be happy to help you. Considering that these parents are paying me to teach their kids a lesson, I'm gonna have to respectfully decline your offer. Ooh, it's chilly out here today. Well, the ice does work better when it's frozen.
Why were you interrupting Miss Allison so much? You weren't being very nice to her. Well, Miss Allison and I have a history. It's adult stuff. Stuff you don't need to worry about. Why did you keep telling her how to skate? <sighs> she does not know how to teach skate technique properly. You know, Miss Allison was a champion figure skater. Maybe her technique is just a little different than yours? Oh, hers is definitely different than mine. Like I said, she just cannot teach skate technique. I overheard you talking to Mom the other night. You like Miss Allison, don't you? That is none of your business, young lady. Okay, fine. But in case you're interested, I know that Miss Allison practices at Nixon's Pond on Monday evenings. Is that right? Well, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, he drives me insane! We argued for half an hour today. Yeah, arguments are a normal part of life, isn't that right? True, but half an hour? What was he even doing there? I thought he had a knee injury or something and he was forced into early retirement. He was. So, his niece Chloe, she's going to be taking classes there and I think I'm kind of stuck with him for a while. Oh, I see. Not to uh, totally pry, but did you guys ever sit down face to face and talk about what happened? No, and I, I mean, I don't really see the point. You know what he did to me. Hey, Chief. How are hey, you? Allison. Are those my favorite Christmas cookies? They are. Thank you, Allie. You're welcome. So are you and Bobby still coming to the Christmas party this Friday? Yep, we'll be there. Wouldn't miss it. Good. And um, Thomas tells me that Ivan's back in town. Yeah, about that. What are the odds you could arrest him for me? Well, only if he does something, you know, illegal. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of things that he could end up in cuffs for, but crimes of the heart is not on the list. I know. Maybe you could pepper spray him a little bit for me or something? Well, maybe just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, Chief. It was good seeing you. Merry I'll see you Friday. You. You're welcome. See you then. Good job, guys. Keep gliding, guys. Good job. Okay, everyone, today we are going to focus on our balance. Hey, uh, I'd be happy to show you how it's done. <sighs> okay, Hotshot. If I let you show them one brief demonstration, will you please promise to be quiet for the rest of the class? Deal. Would you like hash browns, potatoes, no, just the cheese? omelet? That'll be fine. Just the omelet, okay. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Okay. How are you? Good. Good. Um, I was wondering if you thought about that offer I gave you the other day. I did, but Bobby, this diner—it's just not for sale. Lauren, I gave you an offer for twice what this place is worth. I know, but Bobby, this diner has been in my family for so long. No amount of money can buy the memories or the value we have here. Well, just keep it in mind because there's a lot of money in it for you guys. I know. I'll think about it again if need be. Okay. Is uh, Allie here? No, she just stepped out, actually. She's teaching today. Teaching where? I thought her class got canceled at the rink. At the rink they did, but now she's teaching on her own out at the Nixon's Pond. I think she'll be back in about an hour. Really? Okay, thanks, Lauren. Yeah, take care. And what can I get for you today? Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash. Excellent. Would you like french fries with that? Okay, we're gonna lean forward a little bit. Not too much. Got it? Understand? Isn't that nice? So what, you start a new class and you're teaching adult men now? You can't even tell me? What are you doing here? Well, Lauren said you'd be down here, so I figured I'd come say hi to my girlfriend. Well, I did start a new class, but he's not really a part of it. Yeah, man, he came out with my niece. Figured I'd help out with class a bit today. Yeah, I think Allie does just fine by herself. She doesn't need your help. 
I've been home. I'm Bobby, Ellie's boyfriend. Okay. All right, everyone. That's it for today. Keep practicing those moves, and I'll see you next time. So this Ivan guy, how do you know him? He's Chloe's uncle. Really, Allison, how do you know this guy? If you really want to know the details, we pretty much know each other our whole lives. We started dating in eighth grade. And we planned to go to college together. We planned our futures together. And then he got drafted into the NHL. And he didn't tell me about it. And he just left this note for me at the diner. And I haven't heard or seen him in 10 years. You never thought to tell me about him? Or? Does it really matter, Bobby? I mean, we're together now. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Ellie! Girls! Oh, how are my favorite girls? Good. Good. Hi, girls. Girls. I really don't like me, do they? They do. They're just little divas. You gotta, take this you gotta go. Let's see the party. Sounds good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, Tiger. How are you? Hi, sweetie. So how's business going, Bobby? Well, we own about 15% of downtown right now. But it could be doing a lot better, if you ask me. Why? We're overpaying for everything. I mean, people in this town, they don't look at their companies as businesses. They look at it as legacies. So I do it. I mean, why buy them up? I need them. If I buy all this property downtown, I can tear it all down, put up one big box store, and a national chain would eat it right up. If I can get him to come to town, I'd make an absolute killing. There you go. Cheers to that. Hello, Ivan. This is home. It's so good to see you. Oh, Kira, good to see you too. I'm glad that you could join us tonight. And you are still too skinny. Come on in and get something to eat. I will say, I have Mr. Mama Holmes cooking, for sure. Well, don't be shy. What is he doing here? Mom invited him. What was she thinking? Bobby is going to flip when he sees him here. Don't blame me. Mom invited him. I mean, you know we go way back. Thank you. Ivan's here. I'm alive. I'm just for May I have everyone's attention, please? Now that we've finished dinner, it's time for our white elephant gift exchange. Uh, I was, was I supposed to bring a gift to this? Oh, don't worry about it. I got a gift for you under the tree. Wait, you did? Yeah. Seriously, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, stop. They're cheap. All right, Bobby, it's your turn next. Are you gonna steal one or are you gonna grab one from under the tree? Bobby, how about a snow globe? Miss Holmes, the snow globe is very tempting. Thank you. But I think that I'd rather have Ivan's mini toolkit. Okay, it's all yours. Ivan, now you get to choose another gift since yours was taken. That looks like a little bit more fitting gift for Ivan, don't you think? Yeah. Actually, I think my sister would love these. I'm glad I could get them for her.
I don't think we can afford to hire another waitress this Christmas season with the expenses to fix this roof and everything else. We're barely making it. Does that mean I cook and you serve? That's what it's going to have to mean until we can up the revenue and hire more staff. It's, uh, it's going to be impossible for us to keep up with the Christmas crowds. Should we, uh, should we consider selling this place? I mean, Bobby did make us a good offer. Hmm. I don't trust him. I don't like it. Lauren, Bobby could be your new brother-in-law. If he marries Allison, we're all going to be family. I really, really don't want to do business with him. This diner is in our family. Sweetie, it's not for sale. Okay. Then, uh, somehow we'll make it all work out. Yeah. Surprise! Good to see you here today. Hey, Lauren. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I just want to say, please tell your family thanks so much for the invitation. I had so much fun, and it was awesome seeing everyone again. Oh, it was great to see you too. I'm glad you could come. Now, what can I get you here today? Well, I heard on the street that this classic burger is very good. So you know what? I think I'm going to have one of those. Rumor is correct. Right. I will have that right up for you. Thanks so much. Yeah. That's a good choice. Well, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And Merry Christmas to you, son. Yeah, I don't really uh, get into Christmas too much, but I do appreciate that. Thank you. So you don't really care for Christmas? I don't. I don't. Hmm. It's hard to believe, Ivan. Hmm. You know, everybody in this town just loves Christmas. Yeah. So tell me, what do you do nowadays around here? I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Which is now a career profession, right? Well, actually, I'm a master carpenter. Is that right? You remember my dad, right? He was a builder. I do remember okay. him. Great, Great guy. Wonderful yeah. man. Yeah. You know, you could come by my shop today if you'd like. Well... I don't really have too much going on nowadays, so sure, I think I can do that. Good. Today it is. Okay. Good. I'm glad you're This is a shop. Well, come on in. This is a shop. Huh. Wow. Did you make this? Yeah, sure did. Wait a second. Is this a purple heart? Yeah, it's amazing. You mind if I ask what happened? I just happened to do the right thing at the right time. Come on, Nick. I know there's more to the story. You're a hero. Well, it's a good old long story. We'll talk about it sometime. Okay. What is this? Oh, well, some gifts for children. Wait a minute. You're the secret Santa, aren't you? Shh. It's a secret. It's not an elected office. I can I ask you something? Why do you do it? Tell me, Ivan. Are you good at running? Of course not. I'm a skater. I'm a hockey player. I used to be good at running once. Running from difficult situations, that is. And what do you mean? The world has its share of challenges. Difficult or seemingly impossible situations confront people every day. If they have hope, then they can summon the courage to face their fears. This is what I'm trying to give them. The gift of hope. 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 
Now, would you like to help me build this piano bench? Yeah. Good, good. I'll take your call. Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. I can see why you were a champion figure skater. And? And what? Look, if you came here to gloat, just do it already. I didn't come here to gloat. You know, you're actually a really good teacher, Al. You've always been good with kids. You got a big heart, very helpful. Thank you. Allie, what? What is this? Bobby, this isn't what it looks like. I was here practicing and Ivan showed up and... What? You forget you have a boyfriend all of a sudden? Look, man, like she said, totally innocent, my fault. Dude, was... mind your own business. Okay, this is between Allie and I. Look, I don't want to get in the middle of anything. I'll take off. I'll see you tomorrow. No, you're not going to see her tomorrow. You're not going to see her anymore. Okay, stay away from her. Look, Bobby, that's enough. Ivan's just a friend. You heard her, man. We're just friends, that's it. No, you're not friends, okay? You're, you're nothing anymore, okay? You understand me? Ivan, you better leave. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Bobby, what is your problem? He was just here ice skating. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal, Allie. It's a big deal to me. Okay, stay away from him. You know, maybe we should just take a break. Take a break? Oh. Fine. Mark my words, Allison Grant. You're gonna regret this. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Pastor Chris, can I talk to you for a sec? Please, come on in. How are you? Oh, we're doing pretty well. Preparing for Sunday, how are you? Well, I came to talk to you about Ivan. Well, I don't think Ivan is a book in the Bible, but I may have an opinion or two I could share. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just, ever since he's been back in town, I, don't know, I have these feelings and... I just don't know how to process them. Well, we were all good friends growing up. We all did things together, and I know it was really hard on you when he left. Yeah, I mean, him being around and... I don't know. I mean, did he ever say anything to you about, like, years ago when he left that note for me? 
or how he left it? No, he didn't. I was just wondering. But he did talk to me about it a few days ago. He did? What did he say? I think that's something you need to talk to Ivan about. Did he even say he was sorry for what he did to me and how he left me and how he left me that note? Allison, he did something that was wrong. But you have an opportunity to choose forgiveness. Because forgiveness can only be given by the one to whom the wrong was done. Anything that's manipulated or earned or deserved isn't really forgiveness. This is ultimately your choice to make. And I don't want to try to make that decision for you. I really think you need to talk to him. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks, Chris. Hey, you stay warm out there now. Thank you. Have a good day. Be careful. You too. You broke up with him? Just like that? Yeah, I mean, he was being such a jerk. I don't know who he is anymore. Hmm. So tell me, what's going on with you and Ivan? I don't know. I think I might be starting to have feelings for him again. Again? I don't know. Or maybe they just never went away in the first place. I mean, I've seen you two together. You have something special. It's like magic. Yeah, I mean, but how do I know he's not going to hurt me again? Hmm. Well, here's what I think you should do. Spend a little time with them. That way you know for sure one way or the other. I think you're right. Well, good morning. I see you're still running your same old route. Sure am. Are you sure you should be running on that knee of yours? I'm fine. This knee? Matter of fact, I bet I could beat you in a race right now. <laughs> All right, hot shot. You think you're such a great athlete? Beat me tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. at the rec center. What happens at the rec center? 10 a.m. Don't be late. What happens at 10 a.m.? Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. All right, well, if you think it'll help, Doc. It will. You know what? I'm fine. I, I need to leave. Uh, uh, see? Uh, Would you listen to me, please? Uh, Lay back. You need to keep the ice on it right now. Tell you what. Twins and I, we're going to make some Christmas cookies. Stick around and eat them with us. By then, you should be fine and good to go. Sound good? Fine. Thank you.
now that we made them, now we gotta eat them. Yeah, we do. I'm taking this one. So good. The best one, my favorite. It's not like it's your whole life, right? Oh, okay. And why do you do this to make it clear? Well, if someone's trying to make it look like you made a mistake, the evidence is going to be on your computer. The son of Alex. I really like you, but I've only known you for a short time. I really like you, too. Santa Claus? Yeah! Go see Santa Claus? What is it with this town and Christmas? Oh, come on. Stop being the Grinch. Everyone in Hope Springs celebrates Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Santa, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for everything I already own. Mm. But if I could have horseback riding lessons, I would like that too. So you ride horses, do you? Oh, good. I'll work on that. And what would you like Santa to bring you? Um, a truck. A truck? Okay, good, good. And girls, what would you like for Christmas? We had like white ice skates with pink laces. You would, would you? The both of you, right? Good, good. A Christmas charity event. I don't know about that, Al. You probably never volunteered at Christmas time before, right? It's actually really special. And honestly, we might get a lot more people if they know a hockey star's coming. I don't, I don't know. I'm just not good at this Christmas thing, okay? You know, Ivan, ever since your dad died, You've never been the same with Christmas. What happened? 
Do you really want to know? <laughs> okay. That last winter in high school, my family and I were taking a trip up to see my grandparents at their cabin. <laughs> we ran into a blizzard. My dad hit an ice patch. The car spun in circles and the driver's side smashed into a tree. In the ICU, I watched my own father die on Christmas Day. And ever since then, we've just never celebrated Christmas since. Evan, I'm so sorry. Is that why you never came back? Well, we came all this way for a tree. Let's get one, huh? Decorating the Christmas tree is one of my favorite parts of Christmas. It's mine too. It is. I love this. You want to go up? Whoa! Yes. Okay, put it up there. Way up here. There you go. Good job, everybody. So, everyone, if you could please hand out these invitations to the Nixon's Farm Charity event next week, that would be really helpful. This is to keep the soup kitchen open all winter long. Please feel free to post the flyers anywhere you can find to post them, and let's get to work. Bobby, what are you doing here? You're always doing this kind of stuff. I kind of thought I might give it a try for once. Okay. Um, will the bed sheets in the warming center need to be changed? Do you want to do that? Do you think maybe you and I could work together and show me the ropes a little bit? Sure. Um, I'm passing out flyers right now if you want to help with that. I can do that. Yeah. Thank you. So, what do you think? After we're done here, let's grab some coffee. Coffee? Or like a real date? We could call it a real date. Well, if we're gonna go on a real date, I wanna go out with the eye of the hawk. Well, I guess what you got, so okay. You got it. Okay, where are we? A few more steps. I'll take the blindfold off. All right. And... Oh my goodness. <laughs> are we going on that? Follow me. Ready momentarily. Thank Please you. enjoy some music. Thank you. Is that your brother in law? Yep. Just a moment away. This has been such an incredible like evening. Slow, don't you throw it away. It's not over yet.
forever has no shortcut to give each little moment is the life that we live even if our past may be gone our future could still be so strong yeah i made mistakes oh i know they were mine i do what it takes won't you throw me a line cause i'll get it right yeah, I'll get it right, I'll get it right the second time. Though you've been hurt, I'm asking again, please give me a chance to reset our love. In all this fast pace, I stepped out of line, I'll get it right the second time. Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Hey, I know this guy. I see you guys on TV. Well, what about me? Oh, I know you. I know you. <laughs> nice well, I've known you. this guy since high school. Oh, yeah? We go way back. That's awesome. But I got to head out. All right. Hey, nice seeing you, man. Take care. My brother! Oh, what is up, dude? Oh. Hey, it's great seeing you, man. And you're up on your feet! Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Off that knee, dude. It's, Getting better. You look great. It's, it's a little sore here and there, but we're doing better. That's we're doing excellent. Better. Happy about that. Yeah, we win. All Thank you so much again for letting us use the facility. It is our pleasure. This is going to be a great venue. I know. I feel like it's going really well. <laughs> Guess who? Oh my goodness! You guys, I'm from Edinburgh. What are you doing here? It's Christmas, so we're back for break. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you. All right. I think so. Yeah, Have some fun. In there. Hey man, could you stop? What's up? Please? How are you? Right. Good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. What's your name? I'm Caleb. Yeah, for sure. Caleb. Yeah. Awesome. You right. play? Cool. Yeah, I play cool. cool. Really? Hey, who's yeah. your favorite player? Yeah, those are some tough uh, players me, right, right there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> know it. That's right, man. Hey, can you sign this too? Of course. Yeah, of course, so I heard, man. Uh, he got kicked out of the league. Uh, actually, I got a knee injury. How's it going? It's hey, fine. Hey, Bobby. Why don't we go over here? You can help me with the potato sack race. All right, everybody, so now we're gonna do a potato sack race. Please put your money and your name in the jar of the person that you think might win. And when we're all done, you guys can win some of Mrs. Nixon's delicious Christmas cookies. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Money in Bobby's jar can line up with Mrs. Nixon over here and get some of her delicious Christmas cookies. Thank you. So, anybody who put their tickets in my jar, enjoy all the cookies you want. And to this lovely lady. Uh, guys, all right. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, uh, continue on and have a great day. Bobby, what was that? Ellie, I've been... 
I've been thinking about everything a lot, especially everything you said to me at the pond that day. And yeah, I realized you're right. You're right about everything. And that was kind of hoping you'd give me a second chance. Oh, Bobby, I don't know. With everything hey, that's happened and... Allie, please. Look, I should have done this so much sooner. And it was really wrong of me to take this long, but... Mm. I want to ask you to be my wife. Bobby, I, this is so unexpected. I don't, I don't know what to say. Listen, you don't have to say anything. Look, you don't have to make a decision right now. Just wear it and think about it. Let me know. It's beautiful. I'll think about it. Allie, I'm sorry. About everything. Thank you. It means a lot to me, Bobby. Thank you. You're welcome. Christmas spirit, I guess. You do know this is a Christmas thing, right? I have a lot of Christmas things to catch up on. Hello, this is Ivan. Ivan, guess what? Yeah. A yeah, coaching opportunity just opened up. This position comes with many benefits. Ivan, are you listening to me? Y yeah, I'm sorry, what did you say? The team needs a coach. This is serious. Really? But I need an answer now. All right, well, can I at least have a few days to think about it? Okay. Excuse me? Yes. Uh, what are your vegan options? Oh, you can find those on the back of the menu right there, sir. Okay, thank you so no much. Yeah. I mean, I'm serious. I'm way too busy to deal with this right now. I just got a new opportunity in the league. I start tomorrow. Yeah, I heard. No note this time? Come on. Don't do this. Don't marry this guy. You know it's not right. You know it's always been you and me. Has it always been you and me? Or has it always been you and hockey? And as for Bobby... He's doing everything he can to save this town, and he actually loves me. But does he really? Come on, just please, just come with me. Ivan, I belong here in Hope Springs, and obviously you're too good for us, so I don't know. Maybe we're just not meant to be. Yeah, Kuma, what's up? It's Ivan. I thought about your offer. I want to let you know I'm in. Great. I will see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Bye. Yes. I got to go. Alice is going to marry someone else, okay? There's nothing I can do about it. I gotta go. But she doesn't even like him, and he's not a very nice person. <sighs> Chloe, these are issues for adults, okay? Don't worry about it. But I'm going to miss you so much, Uncle Ivy. 
I love you. I'll tell you what. Once I get moved in, I'll bring you out to visit, all right? Oh. I love you, kid. It's gonna be all right, I promise. Okay? Okay? enough money to keep the soup kitchen open. Even with the charity event? No. <laughs> we worked so hard to make it a success. I just don't understand. I thought for sure that we would have enough. We did our best. I'd like to make a toast to this wonderful man and father sitting at the end of the table over here. Dad, we are all so proud of you. You kept this town safe. Here's to the best police chief Hope Springs has ever had. Cheers. 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 Honey, we're so proud of you. 
Thank you, Thomas. And thank all of you. Thank everybody for coming out to join me tonight to celebrate with me on 30 years on the police department. It's been, quite frankly, an amazing ride. But it's time. Pass the baton to Mike. And he's going to do a great job keeping an eye on all of you guys. <laughs> and Thomas, I, I wanted to share that, you know, I've missed a lot of birthday parties, a lot of ball games. But it was my job. It was just what I had to do. But now, I get to be everywhere. Because it's what I always wanted to do. And I, uh, I also have to admit that I couldn't have done any of this without the love and support of this amazing woman by my side. Thank you. Mm. And speaking of amazing women, I'd like to say something about this amazing woman right here. Allison and I have decided to take our journey together a step further. So cheers, Chief. Congratulations. Congratulations. And cheers to the future Miss Bobby Harrison. What do you guys think? I think it looks stunning. Yeah? Yeah. So you're really going through with this? <sighs> looks like it. So, your ex, Ivan Hall, is available. Yeah, girl, I'm engaged. <laughs> All right. You probably don't need this, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, for someone who just got engaged, I'm not too sure how happy you look about it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. Just was really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Ooh, beautiful. Nice. What do we think? I love that one. That's I'm excited. Awesome. All right. Hey, Chloe. It's your Uncle Ivan. Can you put your mom on the phone, please? Uncle Ivy, you have to come back here. Things are going really bad. What is bad news? Well, Miss Allison is officially engaged, and the soup kitchen is closing. I am so sorry to hear that. So you're not going to do anything about it? Chloe, we have already talked about this. It's not going to happen. Just please put your mom on the phone. So the sanctuary can usually be decorated. Some couples like to put flowers over here and flowers over here. But whatever you'd like to do, we can accommodate. Okay, that sounds really nice. What do you think, babe? Yeah, that's fine, it'll work. Now, do you have a date set? We're kind of working on that right now. When we get one, we'll let you know, all right? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bobby? Is it? Yes. Okay, well, sorry. I make enough money, we can get whatever you want. Just... Yeah. Hope Springs Church, Pastor Chris speaking. Hey man, it's Ivan. Hey, Ivan, buddy. How's it going? How's coaching? <laughs> well, I haven't started yet, but I'll definitely let you know when I do, all right? Okay, well, when you do, I will be watching for you on TV when I watch the games. Hey, Chris. So, I hear that you won't be able to keep the soup kitchen open for the winter, is that right? Unfortunately, that is correct. We are just running low on funds for it, and we're going to have to shut it down. How much money do you need? Uncle Ivan and Miss Allison are still dating. Me too. Maybe we could have dates at the Christmas tree farm. We 
to tell him that all we want for Christmas is for Uncle Ivan and Miss Allison to be back together again. That's a good idea. What are you three girls talking about over here? It's nothing. We're just talking about what we want for Christmas. Okay. Well, have fun skating, girls. That was close. <laughs> girls are back again. We all changed our minds on what we want for Christmas. You have, have you? And what would you most wish for this Christmas? I want Uncle Ivan and Allison to be happy. I want them to fall in love. Do you think you can help make that happen? Well, that's a very difficult wish, you see. Hmm. That's a wish for those who choose to love each other. Only they can give that gift to each other. Well, I'll see what I can do, but Santa can't make any big promises, okay? Two thousand years ago, maybe even at this time of year, angels were singing over Bethlehem. Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. That night, hope for our world was born and that hope only continues to grow. Well, next Sunday is Christmas Eve. We're gonna have a special treat. We're gonna watch our youth perform the Christmas pageant on ice at the Nixon Farm. I hope to see you all there. Merry Christmas. Go in peace. You're dismissed. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, I also have some good news. A generous donor has decided to fund the soup kitchen through the end of the year. Really? Yeah. Generous donor, huh? Well, the donor was from out of town, but the check cashed and the funds transferred. That's awesome. Let's go. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Got a flight to Montreal tonight. In the morning, we start preseason. Got to get those boys winning. Perfect. You will do great. Yeah? It'll work. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What do you mean? You were always missing something. But when you went back home, you found it. So are you saying you want me to give up this huge coaching opportunity to move back to Hope Springs? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. You're crazy. <laughs> My ride's here. I gotta go. Ivan, you can still change your mind. the offer again. What do you think? No. We've decided against it. Guys, come on. This is a good deal. Bobby? What? what is this I hear about you selling to a big box store? Hi, Allie. Yes, I am. Oh. Okay? Hope Springs is in desperate need of modernization, and I'm going to give it to them. You told all those people that their businesses would stay open. How could you do that to them? Well, if I told everyone, nobody would sell. Okay, and this is, this is gonna be good for everyone. No, this is gonna be good for you. 
for us. You know, you never pay attention to me and your business is way more important than anything and you lie to everybody. I just can't be with somebody like that. There is no us. Allie, what are you doing? Allie, come on. I think you should leave now, Bobby. Hey, sis, can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go see Ivan, aren't you? You wanna be my ride? Yeah, let's do it. So the bus leaves in about an hour, so I could really use your help packing. Yeah, we'll make time, let's do it right now. Oh, hey, Pastor Chris, what are you doing here? just here to pick someone up. What brings you here? Well, I just thought I'd take a quick trip, clear my head a little bit. So... Of course. Christmas and have a good trip. Thanks, you too. By the way, who are you picking up? Al, I'm so sorry I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ivan, I'll be waiting in my truck around the corner whenever you're ready. and Grant, will you be my wife? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's try this thing on. It's beautiful. Mm. Let's go tell the family. Hey, we have an announcement to make. Oh, no, 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 Love is kind, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not self-seeking, it does not dishonor others, it keeps no record of wrong. Now for the vows, do you promise to love to keep, to hold each other till you're fast asleep, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, whether you're young or old, in lack or in wealth, do you promise to love each other with this wedding vow? Do you commit to each other in this moment, right now? Do you? I do. Do you? I do. Good. And by the power vested in me for the rest of your life, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'm his agent. So you're responsible for taking him away from us. Yes, I did. I got him a good job. But I also brought him back here. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, cheers to that. Look how happy he is. Yes. Hey. Wanna get out of here? Let's I do know, it. I know a place. To Ivan and Allie. Hmm. Have you seen him? Hmm. Huh. I think they're gone. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait. Aw, you remember? Yes, I remember. Mrs. Hall, may I have this dance? You may, Mr. Hall. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Will you be my girl forever and ever? Forever and ever. Find our phone. 